Finally, here at six, summer may be winding down, but it's not over yet. As we showed you earlier, the Green Dreyer Sterling Fair is happening now in Wayne County, and later this week, the Sullivan County Fair will get underway. Mike Stevens made the trip to Forksville 31 years ago, and that's tonight's trip back down the Pennsylvania Road. A stream ambles down a hill, and the sound of it speaks volumes about summer about how easy going it is and all. A summer day late in August. So late it seems that you can hear autumn knocking at the door. A nice day to remember what a fair is all about. The Sullivan County Fair has been going on for 139 years now, and while a lot has changed in that time, you've got to think the basics haven't. Family, home, and country. Basics as good today as they were when it all began at this fair. Values that are still regarded highly. You might get the idea from that that life at the fair is pretty laid back, and you'd be right. That's a good thing on a hot summer day. Excitement is the last thing you'd really want. Why, even the political parties here manage to get along side by side. Visit with some friends, have a bite to eat. Those are always good ideas. And after you get what you want, the old shade tree in the middle of the fairgrounds is a good place to stop. Even a short visit is okay. If you miss one of the livestock shows, that's no problem. Someone is apt to bring the show right to you, wherever you are. It makes for an interesting picture. The fair in Sullivan County is one of those places you go to when you want to get an idea of what's important in the world, what really counts, what really survives for a good long time. It's nice to know there's still one of those places around. I'm Mike Stevens, Newswatch 16, on the Pennsylvania Road in Forksville.